everyone welcome back to my channel my name's Lydia if you're new here then welcome and if you're a returning subscriber then love you all and thank you for watching this video so if you are new please hit that subscribe button and I'll love you forever um so without further ado let's get into this video so I'm actually a bit scared for my life not gonna lie however I have got a lot of spots at the minute, so I have got a lot of breakouts. So at the same time, I'm like, it's fine, because if my skin does break out, then it's not going to get much worse than what it already is. So let's go. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. So the only disappointing thing with this video is my pound land in Cambridge is absolutely rubbish. Like, they don't really... They, it's all right size, but they don't have that much. So I couldn't get that much. But anywho, I've got a few bits. So I am doing, as you can tell from the title, only using Poundland beauty products for 24 hours. Yeah, so I'm a bit nervous, not gonna lie. However, I haven't managed to get any face creams because they didn't have any. And I didn't want to use another brand because that kind of past the point, you know what I mean? Even though I have got I'm just going to show you. Let's shut up and get on with it. So, first up, I've got some sponges. I've already used one. But I thought I'd do this properly. So, when I have a bath later, I'm going to be using a Poundland sponge. We then got some deodorant. Obviously, it's a branded deodorant because Poundland don't do their own brand deodorant. Don't really know why I got it, but thought going with using only beauty products for 24 hours, I'd get a deodorant because I need a deodorant. Um, this, again, isn't Poundland's own because they didn't have their own but i got some pink lychee and raspberry shower gel and it's got flamingos on it and it says let's flamingo let's flamingo yeah lush so yeah that's bath time and then for after the bath i have got their body butter which is cocoa and vanilla and it's kind of a rip off for the garnier garnier however you bloody say it oh it's got a little didn't know that Smells good. Yum. So whether I put this on my face or not, I'm not sure, but I'll use it for my body after a bath. Smells good. But yeah, it's like a knockoff version, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? The packaging looks a little bit similar. So yeah, got that. Then got, because I've never smelt this or seen it before, is their fragrance body mist. Because I thought, if I'm going out, I want to use some. And it's Poundland, and it was Pound, obviously. Right, let's smell it. I mean, not the best scent in the world. It doesn't even say what smell it's going to be. Mind my legs, I'm going to choke. It just says fragranced body mist. And then bow ready. Don't know how you say it. Boo, bow. Anyway. <laughs> then I have seen this for ages actually, but I've never used it. So I thought, perfect time to try it. It's the Beautifully Scrumptious, that's the range, coconut face mask. Be Cocalicious. It's like... It were. It's like bloody slime. How weird. I have a thing about smelling things. It does not smell that great. I mean, it smells like coconut, but... It doesn't smell great. But we'll try that. I reckon these products are going to make me break out so bad. If they don't, and if they make my skin feel amazing, then what a bargain and what a find. But I don't know. It says... Caution, avoid eyes, obviously. If product gets in your eyes, rinse it. Always patch test. <laughs> We're not going to do that. This is not a food. Do not eat. Well, who'd want to eat a face mask, hun? Not normal. But I suppose I've got to put it. So, what we're going to use now, because I have got a bit of makeup on, not really, is the Age Defence Complete Cleansing Wipes. They only had the Age Defence ones. They didn't have any other, like, normal skin, dry skin kind of ones. So yeah, before I try these, and they're enriched with vitamins A, B5 and E, sweet almond oil, sheer butter and algae extract. So let's try these. I wonder if they're going to be really drying. They smell quite nice. Or oh, these might make my skin go really red, I do not know. So this is what I'm starting with for the day. Face wipes. And then we're going to go... 
put the face mask on I think and use a few other things I've got I was gonna do that tonight but I'm gonna have a bath tonight so I might as well do the whole face mask shebang now but then like I said I haven't got any um face cream so unless I use a body butter on my face which might be okay well, I'm probably just gonna do that because that's all I've got these actually feel quite nice but I'm not gonna lie I use the Primark ones I know face masks face mask um face wipes are bad for you but whatever they didn't have a cleanser they have like simple cleanser obviously but i thought that's kind of against the the point of it do you know what i mean like, let's use another one they have like a lot of stuff but then at the same time they don't do you know what i mean um this this is one thing in here which i'll do after i've had a bath and that's going to be that's what I'm most scared about. Let's see if you can guess what I'm on about. What would I be scared of using after a bath? I think. These actually are really nice, I'm not gonna lie. I like these more than Primark ones. They smell really good. Go check them out. This product has not been tested on animals. Love that. Love that for them. Well done, Poundland. Right, so, excuse my horrible face. So they feel really nice. Right, I'm scared. I'm scared. Right, let's go. So the last few items, this is what I'm most scared about. This is not what I'm doing now. But this is, because they've got different people, celebs, ranges, haven't they? So this is the Just Right Beauty Instant Wash Off Tan. So I could do this before if it's instant. Oh God, Panland Tan. Oh God, I'm a bit scared. So this normally i get instant tans but they still like carry on the tan for a few days once you've washed it off or like develop as well this i don't think will do that obviously because it was a pound so we shall see what that's about i don't really want to put it on my face so i might just do my arms but this is what i'm going to do right now and i'm a bit nervous i haven't done one of these in the longest time i'm gonna get a pj to do one later as well so this is the gem v10 range these have they have this range all in poundland so number six is Poundland Zone, I think. And then Derma V10 are just stocked in. I don't really know. Um, so yeah, these are the charcoal no nose pore stripe stripes strips. Um, so they come like this, and it says unclogs pores, draws out impurities, absorbs dirt. I can't talk today. Dirt and oil and removes blackheads. So I've got to go wet my nose. Let me go do that then. Let's go. So I'm assuming. Oh my god, it was really tight. I don't know if I've done that right. Oh, it's gonna hurt, and it's gonna hurt. Oh my god, am I stupid? Yes, you are. The bad boy is on. So, what did that say? I didn't read it. 10 to 15. Lastly, I didn't show you properly. These are the anti aging collagen hydrogel eye patches. Fight invisible signs of aging. Hyaluronic acid, that's good. Oh, and they're pink. But yeah, I thought this would be quite a funny video to try because if some of the stuff's actually good, then, like, it's a steal, isn't it? Like, pound. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I was thinking to myself, what can I use tomorrow? Um, and I didn't because, obviously, beauty-wise, is like, makeup and stuff. But I didn't want to film another one because I've already done a Poundland makeup video. So if you haven't seen that, Go check that out i'll link it in the description um but yes so we're probably just gonna do it all today really most of this stuff i'm really scared to peel this off because i know these can hurt <sighs> and then i might have a bath sooner rather than tonight then we can tan then we can hope for the best then we can use these eye patches later and we can so what i'm gonna do is bath put this all on but then I don't know what's the, it's no point putting it all on, just on my dry areas. And then tan later, like an hour after it, like it's said on the directions. Right, it's been on for 12 minutes. So I'm going to take it off and I'm really scared because I know it's going to hurt already. Because like, pushing up this bit. Oh, oh, I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> Why has it got... There, it really hurts. Oh, it's 
to make my eyes water. <laughs> make my eyes water. Why has it left that stuff? Oh. But it's got some stuff out, I'll show you. Eh, hell. God, they're good. Go to Pan Am and get them because I've got some before and they've been rubbish. I mean, let me just get a face for that. Oh, that hurt though, I'm not going to lie. Jeez. Oh. Really made my eyes water. Look how red my nose has gone. <laughs> Definitely going to put one on PJ later and say it doesn't hurt. 100% I'll film it. Do I show you guys? Is that gross? Is that okay? I don't know. But I've done them before. It's got loads of hairs out. So that's what hurts the most. But I've had them before where they have not got anything out. Whereas this one actually has. Look, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Is it going to work? Yeah, look. Ew. So yeah, it works. So it's got some of my black hairs out. So yeah, they're perfect. So yes, definitely try those. So I'm going to have a bath shortly and excuse see look broke out so bad so if i do break out even more it's fine so i've just got out of the bath i've still got a bit of excess fake tan on so don't mind me um but i thought we'd do the next part of this vid which is deodorant of course so oh, oh god is it one of these twisty ones This one actually smells so nice. Bright guard women. Now, let's use a bit of this bad boy. I'm just gonna use it off the lid. So what I'm gonna do is just take a bit and put it on, so this, oh, that's too much. And then I'll do my hands. My knuckles are really dry at the minute, so I don't want the tan to cling to, to that. Do you know what I mean? So just my dry patches. Then I'm gonna put some on my face as well, actually, and hope for the best. God, I look so pale. But I don't like tanning my face. Is anyone else like that? Because I just feel like my makeup goes funny when I tan my face. Like my foundation goes, like clings to the tan and goes like, not green, but do you know what I mean? It just doesn't look okay. So I just never bother. Or if I do, then I just end up regretting it. This was okay for your face, but it's not really, obviously it's not like a normal, nice face moisturizer. But hey ho. So yeah, that's that. For an overall body moisturiser though, I think that's it's all right. I'll have to try it a bit more. Let's do a bit on my leg, shall we? I can't be bothered to do my whole leg. It's not to my foot. Yeah, it feels all right. Like it's not the worst moisturiser I've ever used. So yeah, I'd suggest trying it, guys, for a pound. I mean, you can't really go wrong, can you? Right, should we tan now or do we wait? So this is the tan, I didn't show you close up. And I've got it in medium. I'm really scared. Shall we get going then? So I'm choosing some gloves because the mitt I've got, I don't want to like ruin it with this tan if it's going to be hor horrendous, even though I know you can wash it. But anyway, I just thought I'd use gloves. Try something different. Right, let's go. I'm going to do here first so you can guys can probably see. I haven't used a f in right so I haven't used an instant fake tan I should probably have a mirror <laughs> oh dear right let's go to the bathroom guys because I can't physically see what the hell I'm doing so I'm just going to drag you around with me it's very patchy god this is strange look how dark Oh, sugar. I just don't get it. Like, what? It's, I haven't used an instant tan in forever, so it's probably me. But I mean... I mean... Really? Medium. Medium, really. Okay. Just, just take that in, guys. Do you know what I mean? Shite. Excuse my language. But this is not going to work, is it? I mean, for the video, I'm, I'm going to try and make it work, but it's not happening. kind of wish I did this before having a bath now, so I could have just washed it off. <laughs> this is a nightmare. 
I just feel like I'm putting chocolate on my body and rubbing chocolate in or something. Unless it's just me being an absolute idiot and putting it on really wrong. Oh, dear God. Just look. The camera's not even doing it how justice at how bad it is really. Well it is, but it isn't. The colour difference is crazy. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, what do I do to myself? Imagine if it when I wash it off it stains my skin like this. Only brushing it with all gloves. It says on there though. Mitt or gloves, so I was hoping this was gonna be so good so that everyone could buy it for a pound, but at the minute I'm not liking it. I just put it on my face with a laugh. Should I just do it? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna. Oh, sh I'm not use gloves. Let's just do it on my face. Immediately regretting this. This is gonna break me out as well, even more. I'm gonna use this brush. It's like red. Doesn't it? Like Marmite. Just like Marmite. Like I've just speared, speared, smeared Marmite all over my face. It's clinging to all my spots. Literally do dot to dot on my face right now. Look. Like who's going to want to go out like this? Like how the hell? I don't understand. How do you... I... Just right, babes. No. Hello. Luckily I'm not going anywhere, I've got a client tomorrow, but she'll just have to, I mean, PJ's going to walk in and say, sorry? I really don't know what to do, like we have to leave it on an hour and just hope that it's going to miraculously be okay, it's really not. Right, treats you to a summer radiance all year round. Summer radiance? I look like I've just smeared Marmite all over my body. So for one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Like what? Look at my face. Look at my face. Where all these dry patches, which I didn't even know I had to be honest. I knew I had that one, this one, but I didn't know about the rest. Sorry? You can play dot to dot on my face, it looks like I've got chicken pox. What's this? Right, I'm gonna leave it for five minutes. And then I'm going to see, obviously it's not going to change, so then I'll probably wash it off. And we'll see what it looks like once I've washed it off. Because there's no way I'm walking around like this. So, I washed it off about 10 minutes after and that was the biggest mistake of my life. Should have took my own advice and not to put it on my face. Because look, what, what? PJ's got his, he didn't wipe his nose enough though, so it's probably not going to work properly. Mum did it and she... It, she saw results, but no, look at my face. What the hell? I didn't have any spots there before. So I'm a bit worried. Do not try the Poundland fake tan. Just don't do it, because it's not worth it. And it was rubbish. So anyway, in a minute, we're gonna wax, basically. Pull that off, and then we're gonna do face mask and iPads. Come on then, babe. I don't think it worked. <laughs> oh. No? You didn't get anything? Yeah, you got a few. Right, let's try this face mask. I mean, my skin can't get any worse, can it? <laughs> you need to put it on, Peach. Yeah. It feels bitty. I don't know if it's meant to or not. Let's hope this miraculous bit. Why has it got bits in it? Hopefully this will get rid of all my weird lumps and bumps that I got from the tan. I wouldn't say burning, but feeling a bit funky. Why, why have I done this to myself? I do not know. I'm an idiot. So it doesn't say what it's meant to do. It just says coconut face mask. So the lumpy bits is coconut, apparently. And that's meant to exfoliate your skin. So we shall see. But due to so many of them spots that have just appeared from that fake that fake tan, 
which I'm really upset about, but oh well. Um, we'll see what this looks like. So once I've washed it off, I'll pop back to tell you what my skin is feeling like. This is what it looks like after 10 minutes. It's kind of like soaked in a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna wash it off and we'll see what it looks like. But it kind of, it didn't sting, but it kind of like burnt a bit, I don't know. But we'll see. My skin can't get any worse, like I've already said, so. Literally as I was washing it off, where the mask was, it was like a red mark, like where the mask was. But it's got rid of them spots. But now my skin's just really red and patchy. Why does this happen to me? My skin's not even sensitive, like, to products. But look. Red. So you basically learn from this. Do not use Poundland products. Look. So I'm going to take a little photo, add this in the clip to show people before. But yeah, do not buy Poundland products, guys. What the hell? Literally, my skin is not sensitive at all to products, but now it's like burning up but i am glad that these have gone so that's good but my skin is now burning love that for me now let's use the eye i don't know whether to use them i kind of got to see it through haven't i so thank the lord if it's gonna focus that the redness has gone now and my, the little spots have gone thank god Maybe it's just because I'm putting too much on my face. I'm not really sure. Um, but I definitely won't be using those products ever again. Anywho, so now, I mean, I don't know why I'm doing this either because my eyes are probably going to puff up. But let's give it a go. God, what do I do to myself? YouTube life. I deserve some more some credit for this, I think. Luckily, my skin's okay. Thank God. Right, let's put these on. They're cute because they're pink, but still, I'm like, they're probably going to do something to my skin. I don't want to put them too close. If they start stinging, I'm going to take them off. Lesson learned, should the mask off earlier before my face went bright red. Perfect. So, what does it say about these? Relax for 20 to 30 minutes, and apparently... The anti-aging collagen hydrogel patches are specially formulated for skin already showing visible signs of aging, helping to firm moisture and improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So we shall see what these do. Um, so I'm going to leave them if they start stinging, which they are a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I don't know if it's meant to sting. Probably not. Um, but I'll give it a minute and see what happens. So I'll check back in soon, Hans. Um, hopefully, touch wood, that my eyes don't puff up and I'm allergic to it or something. So it's been 20 minutes. They're okay. They're like, not tingle bit, but I'm just going to check the mirror. No, they're okay. I mean, I don't know if they've actually done the job, but anywho. So overall, my experience with uh, Poundland beauty products today have not been very good at all so for one don't use the fake tan no 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 don't use the face mask i mean i don't have sensitive skin so i don't get it um so yeah i wouldn't advise using that either the non-branded bath stuff fine the facial wipes fine love them i'll use them again tomorrow um and the nose strips were perfect, they worked wonders. But apart from that, yeah. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed seeing my skin become awful. But anyway, give it a thumbs up if you've liked it, if you'd like me to try different brands for 24 hours. I mean, I don't know why I do it to myself, but anyway. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.